The UK is struggling to get moving after its coldest night of the year. Large parts of the country are blanketed in snow, a rare sight many couldn't let slip. I just had a sister scream, it's snowing, it's snowing, so it's like, look outside. And then I just saw it was actually snowing, so just grabbed it on everything and went outside to have some fun. But the cold snap has caused travel chaos, which will be felt internationally. Major airports like Manchester and Gatwick have had to close runways in recent days. The nation's busiest airports, London's Heathrow, cancelling more than 50 flights on Monday due to fog. Drivers have also felt the chill. Some motorways have been closed with reports of accidents. Others stranded due to icy conditions. The advice is to avoid travelling with snow and ice continuing this week. For trains and public transport networks, the disruption will likely worsen the impact of planned strike action. Unions have been demanding better pay and work conditions for months and say walkouts during the busy Christmas period are a last resort. The government and rail operators think their demands over issues like future job losses are unworkable. Caught in the middle, customers. All the trains I were trying to get were cancelled, so I, just, I work in London. And the train strikes the next couple of days I had to get here, so I'm about six hours late for work. The train strikes are affecting everybody. I mean, I'm quite lucky for who I work for. They said they're going to pay for parking and congestion charge if it's needed. So, you know, that's, that's all right. But some people don't have that. You know, so it's really going to affect their journey, isn't it? Uh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. I could do some more commuting, so the trains are a bit annoying at the time. But This is Clapham Junction in London, one of the busiest train stations in Europe. For those able to move around, it's not just cancellations, but severe delays affecting their journeys. And things could get worse, with temperatures in some parts of Britain dropping below minus 15 degrees Celsius. Nawid Jabakil, CGTN, London.